black and white ebook or the color which one is better Now, I've been personally looking at all the uh, YouTube reviews um, regarding uh, this this very subject. Problem is that before I bought that, I watched like thousands and thousands, I'm exaggerating, like quite a lot of videos in YouTube. Problem with those videos, even though they are well informed, but at the same time, they are in a studio which is very well lit and screen generally all the way all the way um, up the brightness. So that's not really, I think, um, proper way to make a review, in my opinion, because in a real life situation, you are sometime outside like that, or in the kitchen, or, you know, any lighting situation. You don't have, you generally, definitely don't have a proper lighting situations um, that's like in a studio. So because of that, hang on a second, I have to make sure that, yeah, there you go, it's good. So. What I did actually, I even though I watch a lot of videos, but very rarely I found something that actually, let's say, honest. When I say honest, I mean um, they don't. They have to make their video look good, so they kind of uh, in well lit studio, and they rarely they show um, a scenario, especially outdoor, where especially um, the e ink color e ink suffers a lot. So I decided to make my own video, but before that, I actually had my Kobo uh, Clara 2E, which is probably one of the best ebook I've ever had in my life. Only one, actually, because I don't buy ebooks very often. I like reading books. I don't like buying stuff. Um, I kept it for one year, so I decided to sell it, and then I decided to uh, get a bigger screen uh, originally, something like Kobo Sage or um, you know even bigger like Kindle Scribe because I want to take some notes mm, so I was looking at many things but then I stumbled upon into the pocketbook which is um, I think the Ukrainian company that is actually moved into Switzerland and they're very European um, and I thought that you know that they have a lot of options. You know, apart from reading books, they do provide you uh, things like um, a chess, a Sudoku, and you can do scribbles, and you do have uh, things like coloring, which is kind of nice. You know, apart from reading books, um, you can it calms you down quite a bit. Um, and so, and and then I said that you know what, I'm going to make my own review and then take photos and videos and then compare side by side for the people, and especially for the context. I'm going to compare it with the proper paperback book with um, the screen. Um, I think in the outdoor situation, I don't know how it's going to be justified, but it's quite darker. Um, the thing is, uh, to show exactly, even though the color ink is um, um, it's quite dark, but is it that bad that a lot of people say? And the reason why I got myself a color ink book is because that I really like the idea of a color cover. Makes me feel like in a library. Like, you know, you go walk into the library, you see a lot of color covers and some attract you, some don't. This is the whole idea. That is, I think that's the static part of it that we often forget. I provided the um, the the Kobo or any Carta 1200 or 1300 um, 300 PPI uh, screen, uh, phenomenal, no matter in what situation. But that color cover already itself, even though you're looking at it for 1.5 seconds or more, but it feels just good. It just feels like you're opening up a proper book. That's it. And looking at the, um, all the, if you're reading a historical book where you have images and you have uh, other things such as uh, graphs or um, diagrams, you know, even though there are not a lot of it, again, but then when you f fall into those, those um, uh, images, uh, and you, first of all, the bigger size of the ebook, and then the, the 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 looking at it in color, it just feels awesome. It feels like a book that you've been missing for a while. Um, so, I 
did my compare. Uh, luckily, um, I'm going to sell my uh, Kobo Clara because my wife doesn't allow to have allow me to have two ebook at the same time. Even though I'm going to say that this is probably the Kobo Clara is the best ebook I've ever had the, in terms of the size and shape, but um and it's just rugged it's awesome it's strong um but unfortunately i have to give it away i would love to have it but at the same time you know i have too many things going on in my life i'm probably gonna buy it one um day um joe now difference between uh, the, what is the different i mean no uh, as you listen listening to me i'm going to show you the images and videos uh, as you're listening uh right off the bat the kobo clara uh, 2e or any ebook with um 1200 um carta with 300 ppi are just fantastic no matter what size it's just 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 beautiful it's pure black and white yes it's not as wide as some book uh, but then again it's just uh, beautiful to look at it's crisp it's just um you know music to your eyes basically that being said the um, the color as i said earlier uh, the the idea is to have color first and then you know i i had this lot of doubts that is it going to bother my eyes in terms of uh, you know if i put the brightness up quite a bit is it going to bother me is it going to hurt my eyes in, in the nighttime etc then i looked at my proper book the the paperback where you know if you are in the bed with in the nighttime uh doing a bed right bedside reading bedtime reading i'm sorry uh depends on your angle it can be very bright or you know dark uh, definitely not very even you know ebooks are quite even in terms of the light but the real book and are never even some corner can be very dark and it it can start from very bright to very dark so you know the paper books are probably the worst one in terms of the technical point of view so any ebook is better than a, a paper book in terms of the features and the options that you have available so i have no complaint against the color e ink because you have all the options to make sure that it's bright enough and it's good for your eye the paper book i love it but that's another story because you know it just is the book you can smell it you can touch it you can flip it you know all that stuff but you know in terms of the flexibility the 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 ebook any ebook are fantastic color ebook on the other hand um as i said uh, and the 7.8 inch uh, of the pocket book if i speaking f just for the pocket book even though it applies to any other color e ink that you know it definitely looks dark if you put the brightness down so it's kind of mandatory to put the brightness up at least to 35 <laughs> excuse me 35 to 40 uh, percent and then you might have quite equal uh, level as um, the black and white but that being said it's not exactly the same because you still have kind of like a uh, front light uh, illuminating versus a pure background uh, with no light it's different you have to see it on with your own eyes and then again if you compare if you have like me uh, two different technologies side by side obviously the black and white going to look better but at the same time if you just look at the ebook color alone my man it's just beautiful or madam it's beautiful too size is perfect for any kind of images uh pocket book itself they allow you to sideload um audiobook which is an, uh, amazing uh text to text to speech uh, is quite realistic which is i'm um, kind of surprised that how good they are it's not the best obviously you still know that is um, a machine talking but it's quite realistic and doesn't feel weird uh, as I said, all, as well, you can you have many options such as annotation, the dictionaries, all the stuff that you need. But you know, we you can find those kind of features available in internet in their own website, and also, of course, to you know the other videos. But my point is that what I wanted to do originally is not about talking about the features because they are available everywhere. It's just basically copy and paste all about the freaking place what people don't talk about is the real life situation how the screen look like and i'm going to tell you and i'm going to finish you finish the video uh saying that color e ink is worth it it's not better than the black and white it's not worse than black and white it's different so you need to use it differently uh, and now you like it or don't like it every time if you don't like it the color e ink remember to look at your 
good old uh, paperback, uh, especially, for example, Bible or any kind of religious book to any of your books from your grandparents that are very, very dark and you specific, you really need lights to have a proper con contrast and understand at the text. When you look at them, you will realize that the all this fussiness about the color ink being too dark, it's just nothing. So I hope you like the video. I really hope that he, this video helped you to choose. And, you know, I know that production quality of this video is not phenomenal, but I just wanted to give you a real life, a real life uh, um, examples because I'm sick of all those, um, you know, studio, well-lit uh, reviews. So I hope that this one is more realistic, close to your real life. Take care of yourself. Happy reading and bye-bye.